we're almost at that time of year the time of year where butterfly enthusiasts develop a strained neck a strained neck developed through spending too much time looking towards the tops of the tallest trees in several Nottinghamshire woodland this is Sherwood Forest and this is one of the homes in Nottinghamshire for the Purple Emperor and although Purple Emperors are starting to be seen down south in southern counties of the UK I think we're a week to ten days too early here still but it's the old adage if you don't come out and have a look how do you ever know the books the internet and Facebook can't tell you everything Well, this stretch of forest track is surprisingly long actually it's longer than what you can see it ends at least as i'm only going as far as the center tree which is a quite a way in the distance it's been opened up over the years this track over the last sort of decade the canopy became closed and some trees have been removed either side so it has been opened up and to be honest is absolutely perfect butterfly habitat there's lots of bramble and umbellifers growing along the sides here and there's some developing sallow scrub which hopefully may well hold purple emperor larva in a few more years time it's just a case today of walking down here it's a lovely walk anyway and as you can see it's thronged full of people thankfully not and we'll see what there is. The only butterflies I've seen walking up to this point from the car have been speckled woods. That's the only species of butterfly that I've seen. But I do think we're a touch too early for purple emperors. I've not been out and looked for purple emperor pupa on a night time yet. That's something to, to do in the coming nights. But... Everywhere's greened up nicely again after some very heavy thunderstorms in the last few days. Hopefully we're not going to get a repeat of last year's heat and sunshine. So, in case I'm going along here, stopping at various points, looking skywards and seeing if we can see one of the majestic large nymphalids gliding through the tree canopy. Well, I have seen one nymphalid, but unfortunately it wasn't this nymphalid I wanted, but it was a red admiral. Obviously just hatching out again, a second brood. Last year I had a number of red admirals, and indeed earlier this year I had two red admirals along here. So they've obviously come in and bred early this year. There's also a lot of the longhorn rook peeler maculata, and hopefully I'll be able to film one for you if not I'll drop a photo in as we go along but no sign yet of any purple emperor but I suspect as I mentioned earlier that it is just too early all along this ride there's an ever-growing amount of bramble now, though Bramble does hide and destroy and wipe out a number of other plants because it's so invasive, it has a very useful part to play in the scheme of things in any woodland. And it's a great nectar provider. And then ultimately it provides berries. So two lots of food source for a whole range of invertebrates and vertebrates too and the growth of bramble along this particular stretch of forest track here in Sherwood is especially welcome it means that it's the perfect ride for butterflies we're just a little bit too early for them
having bramble either side the majority of the length of this track makes it all the more appealing for butterflies and especially powerful butterflies like silverwash artillery which all of a sudden burst onto the scene with abundance last year and not confined to one area of the forest but seen widely across many parts of Sherwood Forest area. They'll be on the wing very shortly in the pupil stage now but Purple Emperors on the other hand are reluctant to come down to nectar. They will visit piles of dung and obtain salts and minerals directly from the forest tracks such as the one running away into the distance behind my shoulder. But if you're looking for a particular species, certainly an active species like Silverwash Fertillery or Purple Emperor and a number of other UK butterflies, rather than just continuously keep wandering around until you have to stumble across one, a very good policy is to plonk yourself down somewhere, maybe have a sandwich and a cup of tea and just sit and wait and quite often your quarry will come to you or at least it will fly past you. And that's what I'm doing today. It's really humid today. More rain last night. And so as that's evaporating out of the ground, it creates a very humid atmosphere. But apart from the odd speckled wood, nothing so far along this forest track. Nothing flying around the treetops. So I'll have five more minutes here and then we'll have a wander along the rest of this track. quite breezy at times in the treetops. Male purple emperors spend a lot of the time at the tops of trees and then if anything happens to fly past that's in their territory off they'll go in pursuit and the flight is strong there's a lot of gliding involved. But if you do want to go looking for purple emperors, no matter where you are in the UK. The tendency for the books and everybody to say, is look at the tops of trees, but in all honesty, and in my experience, and I believe those experiences of Nick and Samantha Brownlee, who have done most of the work here on the purple emperor at Sherwood Forest, you're just as likely to have one fly past you at chest or head height. It's something I've seen about one nearly flew into the three of us last year. But they do fly incredibly fast, very powerful flyers. So don't always keep your head and your eyes looking skywards. Don't forget that butterflies do come down and females will fly along woodland rides looking for sallows for egg laying. Obviously, we're a good couple of weeks away from that kind of activity. We need to see the first one here first. So don't always look skywards. We're just flying around in front of us. This is a silver wash artillery. Very freshly out. It's showing some interest in 
some brambles to the right it's now going down the left hand side of the tracks just flown across onto the right hand side of the track you may well be able to make it out that's wonderful to see absolutely wonderful and say so this ride is just perfect for such an experience and i think silver wash artillery numbers are going to build here now that the butterfly is obviously established a few years ago this ride wouldn't have been suitable for such activity i say the canopy was closed only a thin strip in fact we used to get glowworms along here Dillis and myself as silver wash artillery i think is on its way back on the right left hand side of the track as we look we used to get glowworms and because the canopy was closed there was only maybe a meter of open sky directly over the middle of this path and female glowworms used to come out from the sides of this track and situate themselves down right in the middle of the track and effectively looked like cat's eyes as you walked along this track this was always a pitch black track it's sometimes quite unnerving to walk across but you would go from glowworm to glowworm all glowing under the only bit of open sky that the females could detect it was quite marvelous really but now it's been opened up a bit it's made it better all around better for glowworms and better for butterflies is a good stand of bramble on this corner here and this was where we had one of the first glimpses of purple emperors indeed it was my first ever glimpse of a wild purple emperor here in Sherwood Forest flew into his more or less just around this corner and then went up into the trees at the back and then came round and plonked itself at the top of the trees above me I was hoping that silver wash artillery might have come as far down as this to nectar but there's such a supply of bramble along here that it's easily missed and they do have a habit of going up and over the trees and then coming back down on themselves silver wash artillery is here but nice to see one out but in terms of butterflies very little I have two red aberrals now, there's a couple of speckled woods and the first meadow browns are out. What I'm surprised that isn't out is ringlet, because normally I would get ringlet before me meadow brown, but I've yet to see ringlet this year anywhere. But it's a poor year for many things. Well, this is the last yardage of the track. I'm now just against the centre tree. This is the last bit of sky staring or treetop staring of this video. It is, there's no doubt that it's still too early for Purple Emperor. But do need to come and look for the pupa, but that's that's a job for the depth of the night and you'll see why if you don't know in a later video but there appears to be no male purple emperors holding territory yet in this area so we'll come back another day and see if the emperor 
is back on his throne here in Sherwood Forest. 